Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round eight of the World Championships of X-Wing here at Adepticon. <laughs> Adepticon. Sorry about but We just had lunch. I'm feeling a little sleepy. Yeah. You know what's going to wake me up? This round. This round. This is going to be action packed. Get ready. Again, my name is Dion Morales, and today I'm joined by my good friend, James Ritter here, excited for some Rebel on Resistance action. Uh, this is not a normal Rebel or normal Resistance list. We have some fun game here from Kalen Wong and Mario Nunez Jimenez. That's right. It's going to be a great matchup. Our stream today is brought to you by so many people. First, let's go ahead and shout out our sponsors. Number one, our patrons, the ones that really make it happen, our biggest supporters from the past till now, past and present. If you were a patron at some time, you have helped build the empire that is Gold Squadron Podcast. So thank you so much for your support. And shout out to our sponsor, Curl Paw Creatives, longstanding sponsor, 15% off their shop right now upgrade your cardboard from your favorite atomic mass games games until up till that beautiful acrylic is actually brand new mcp stuff legion x-wing armada really whatever floats your boat upgrade that game now also thank you to adepticon and atomic mass games for their invitation and facilitation of Gold Squadron being here on the floor of Adepticon, bringing you the official coverage here from Adepticon. It is amazing to be in this seat, James, and I'm excited to see this eighth round. We already started that choose your champion voting. Let's get your votes in. Let's start to break down those lists. All right, on the right for your bet to all champion, we have Mario Nunez, uh, Nunez Jimenez. Nunez Jimenez, yes. Nunez, I nailed it. Uh, we have a fun rebel list. Uh, we have uh, X, Z, Y, A, B. That's right. Uh, Z, uh, B. <laughs> <laughs> list for you. All the letters and all the fun. Uh, starting off with the West Jansen. Zagba. S -s yep. Yep. It's a Zagba. <laughs> Uh, has uh, Wes Jensen in the X-Wing out of the new Hot Shots and Aces 2 pack. Uh, has the ability to jam uh, someone that he attacks or if someone attacks him after the attack is completed. Uh, very similar to Seavor in the Thai uh, Mining Guild Thai, but uh, instead of before the attack, it's after the attack. Has Proton Torpedoes, R4 Astromech, and of course the Servo Motor, servo motor S Foils. Next up, we have uh, Aaron Kraken in the Z95 AF4 Headhunter has uh, the ability to uh, pseudo coordinate an, a friendly after he attacks, uh, and that friendly has to be at range one of him, treating that action as red. But an uh, initiative five coordinate and the engagement phase could be absolutely incredible, and it usually is just mind blowing the amount of stuff that you can do with it has plasma torpedoes and elusive uh, so you're most likely going to see Aaron Kraken starting out the salvo coming in from the rebels uh, next up we have Dutch Vander in the Y wing this is customizable Dutch not the battle of Yavin du Dutch we have tier fun belly run just for fun and to still roll those proton torpedo attacks even if you do land on an asteroid uh, and of course has those proton torpedoes, Dutch able to hand out uh, free uh, locks to friendlies when he takes a lock. No R3 astromech. Wow. Very unfortunate to not see that astromech. Uh, can't take astromech, that R3 and the proton torpedo. You gotta make choices. Uh, he chose the proton torpedo. Uh, next up we have uh, Keo Vinzi with uh, elusive and concussion missile able to do those side slip with Keo. Uh, very cool indeed. Uh, and to round out the list here, we have Tin Num, the the real uh, king of the list here, uh, able to spend a stress token to convert all eyeballs to evade or focuses. Has elusive jamming beam, because why not? Uh, has proton torpedoes as well, and has uh, server or the stabilized S foils. Uh, super interesting here. Uh, before we break down Kalen's list, though, it uh, looks like we're going to get our first round of combat, maybe. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Because that, that disarm is out there on to Poe. So he hit the gas. We're playing Assault at the Satellite Array. 
And uh, what's the plan here to be willing to take a couple shots, but get uh, get in position to flank the Rebels? Remember, he can't get an, an objective point this turn. Yeah, it is still turn turn one, and Poe Dameron is like, I guess uh, <laughs> we're going to go right. Yeah. So I think that was a slam boost. No way that's a slam boost. That is insane. Yeah, it has to be a slam boost. Wow. And he is, he is choosing not to shoot? Yeah, still has that. Uh... Well, Keo <laughs> attacks, evades. I don't know what. Kalen, what are you doing? It worked. He it didn't take did. any damage from that attack. And he's in, like, possibly, maybe the best position to come uh, flanking these rebels. Uh, that is the only attack wow, this that round, is though. Wow, that is so aggressive. Well, I'm going to go ahead and it's, break. It's turn one. <laughs> it's turn one. It's hyper. But you know what? So is, is Kalen a hyper aggressive player? He okay. My knowledge, I've seen Kalen play quite a bit. He is a player that is able to find unexpected ways to win a game. To in that's trying to encompass a lot of different strategies. I've seen very, him use very innovative. Very, he's a very innovative player, and seeing this play with Poe, to me, this is. Disruption. It's there's 99% of the time when you see games of 2.5, there's usually not engagement on round one of any kind. And lo and behold, engagement that's this aggressive. Yeah. And usually it's like yeah, but usually, usually both players have to like um, agree basically to like, yeah. hey, we're gonna take shots at round round yeah. one. Uh, Kalen said, no, we will be taking we shots. Will. I don't care if you do a one forward. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming for you. So the strategy here may be just to see if he can get Mario off his game, change Mario's uh, deployment plan here. Because imagine if you end up having, uh, you know, Wes, Aaron, and, and Dutch turn into there and give their backs to the rest of Kalen's squad, that could be bad news. Or even if the opposite, if that line of ships decides to ignore them and go for the fireballs and uh, and Zay, you have a proton torpedo Poe sniffing at your backside. Yeah, and if you manage to stay close enough to Poe, he has that uh, crack shot as well. That's right. So let's, primary attack. Let's go ahead and uh, and just break these down quickly because obviously they're going to be getting into it pretty fast. We got crack shot, R4 astromech, proton torpedoes, electronic baffle for some stress control, overdrive thrusters, the black one title, and S foils on that trigger happy fly boy Poe. The other T70 X we have here is Zay Versio, M9G8 for that target lock ability to be able to give a friendly ship a reroll can also be put on an enemy ship to force a red attack dice roll, but has the most value and most common use as an offensive weapon for a friend. Looks like currently it's on our next pilot we're going to talk about, which is Kaz Kazuto Ziono, aka Kaz. Kaz has R2D2. Uh, resistance R2D2, if you haven't heard about it or haven't seen it in a while, during the end phase, you may spend one charge and one shield to remove a red token. So we have some red token mitigation in exchange for shields. Or second paragraph, during the end phase, if you have no active shields, you may spend two charges to recover one shield and gain one deplete. So helping uh, Kaz to stay alive and um, but also this kind of cheeky thing, he could do this round one because you don't oh, start yeah. with any active shields. Like, oh, look. Well, he has a shield upgrade. Right, right. So, what, so oh, he, has, he does have a shield upgrade. Does I shield hadn't gotten to that yeah. part. So he's got the shield upgrade. So he's able to bring that shield back, back and forth. Pretty cheeky there. Can do that twice. The other fireball in the mix here is Jarek Yeager. Marksmanship, false transponder codes, targeting computer, and mag pulse warheads. Ability there, while you have two or fewer stress tokens, if you are damaged, you can execute red basic maneuvers while stressed. If you are critically damaged, you can execute red advanced maneuvers even while stressed. You might be wondering, what are those maneuvers? If we go ahead and take a look at that, that's basically talking about that three hard and uh, four straight. 
while just damaged, and of course those three talent rolls while critically damaged, which you can basically do to yourself with oh, the explosion yeah. with wings. Oh yeah, explosion with wings able to, after you perform a slam action, instead of taking a disarm, you flip up one, you expose one of your damaged cards. And then last but not least here, the final pilot in his squad is BB-8, cheap uh, filler here, two points. During the system phase, you may perform a red barrel roll or boost action. And then we have Chewbacca crew on it. During setup, lose one of two charges. After a friendly ship at range 0 to 3 is dealt a damage card, recover one charge. And while you perform an attack, you may spend two charges to change one focus result to a crit. So I'm just looking for a little bit of offensive um, modification onto BB-8 so that when that shot does come around, it matters just a little more so james the choose your champion polling is uh looks like it's up what were are the what were the results of that poll uh pretty close another 52 to 47 in favor of mario and the rebels so um pretty pretty close game here like uh no, no one player looks to have a uh, distinct advantage as far as voting goes that's going to be interesting. When we were talking about Mar when we were talking to Mario, people had he had said that people were making fun of his list when he got here. But I mean, he's uh, he's obviously doing pretty well. Was assigned to table two, yeah, right? Six and one currently. Six and one. Now I want you to understand, we're playing a ten round Swiss. That means as we get into into the later rounds, as we get into the as we get into the later rounds, um, we're going to have some other one-loss players near the top. Uh, we have only a single undefeated player right now. That's Bartosz W. out of Poland. We had him on stream yesterday uh, showing the... Uh, the fifth win in that uh, in that streak that he's currently got going on. Yeah, he is currently uh, seven and zero. Oh. Uh, but these two players, both six and one, we only have uh, a handful more six and ones. Looks like we have 11 six and ones right now. Uh, so by the time we get up to uh, the final 10 rounds, I think we'll be at, so for at 11 now, we have three more rounds. Yep. So we'll have uh, divided by two is six, divided by two is three. So we'll only have like one, one maybe two. Six and ones? Yeah. Two, 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 six and, or two, sorry, two, nine and ones. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I almost guarantee you there's going to be some draws involved with that top cut. Okay. Mathematically, like if you, if you go into, uh, if you walk out of here with eight wins, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to draw into the, into the cut. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Um, I, uh, I, I get, I get, uh, I get scared of it every time still. Um, Every, every time that someone's like, oh, like if you have that many wins, what, you can just intensely draw in, into uh, the next uh, cut level of play. Uh, but man, on the event that like you just do the math wrong, I'm not taking that chance yeah. personally. Uh, but uh, for a lot of players, it may be beneficial for that matchup that they're playing or uh, for any other reason. Now, Mo's asking a good question. He's asking how many LCQ players are still in the top? I don't know that. I know that Marcel is still in the running. I know that Will's Will, still in Will the Hague running, Hague and they're both yeah. LCQ players. Yeah. I know Ryan. Oh, no, Ryan made it through with a ticket. That's right. Didn't he? No, no, he made it through the LCQ. He did. Yeah, that's right. So he is also still in the uh, running. Uh, Will is still... Um, He's, only got, he's X and one. If I'm he's, yeah, he, he is he is six and one still, uh, but I think Marcel and Ryan uh, both took an additional loss. So they're five and. So they got to be undefeated. They got to win they, out. They, they have to from here on out. They have to win to make it into the cut, which is not impossible. Uh, we see that it is possible to go uh, seven games without taking a loss. Yes. Here, so <laughs> it can happen. It can but yeah, happen. Will's definitely in the most advantageous position. Uh, again, he gets. He's at uh, seven and seven and one right now. He's six and one right now. Uh, you know he wins a couple more. That's gonna be a top eight finish. We'll see what happens. But well, let's, uh, let's take a look here. We see Dutch move forward three. Has to make a decision where he wants to go. He's got a proton torpedo locked and loaded. Are we gonna get a target lock? 
Well, he could roll lock and maybe get a lock onto Yeager. It's going to be a um, tough range there. Uh, what? Oh, hold on. So we did see a lot come down from Dutch, I believe. Yes, we did. And it cleared off the, um, no, we didn't. Who, who's purple lock? Oh, purple lock. It gotcha. Okay. Oh, we did get that roll lock from Tenum. Uh, reaches out and grabs a lock for a stress, uh, but clears, unfortunately, clears off the uh, false transponder codes from Yeager. All that work, all mm. that, all that work. Um, <laughs> Yeager had the insurance to say, no, I don't, I don't think so. All right, so we have a newer viewer here says, would you recall nicknames of GSP hopes for the noobs like me? I think Marcel's just listed as Marcel. Uh, Will is listed as Killer Beardhawk and uh, Ryan is listed as R Stan. Yeah, it's R Stan. Yep. And then uh, Marcel is listed as uh, Marcel. Yeah. Dion would be listed as Gold Leader, and James would be listed as Raptor. Raptor Ritter. Yep. Yeah. I mean, we're undefeated over here. Just, I'm just saying. I'm just chilling over yeah, here. I'm just chilling. I don't, I don't know how you guys all have these losses. <laughs> <laughs> Still X and O, you know what That's I mean? That's right. <laughs> all right. Wes Jansen moving up here in that Rebel line. You see Mario prioritizing keeping that front line together of Wes, Aaron, and Dutch. All right, still in just turn two here. This is the start of the ability for these players to start taking uh, these scenario actions. Um, we do have... And this is Poe. Poe's po in the backfield. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. Man, I kind of wish he had done a two bank here um, to uh, still get a shot onto one of these ships. Um, but we are going to see a... Oh, look at this. This is going ahead with that overdrive barrel roll, trying to get shots onto Dutch. He might have to go a little bit farther back to maintain that arc, though uh, he's taller than I am, so he'll know better than me. <laughs> uh, he's a tall man. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. Yeah, bracket should be good for you. That'll take you to the... Uh, page where you can view the players that are currently in the event. Mm -hmm. And once we know our top eight, we're going to make a nice, fancy graphic bracket for it's you. It's going to be fancy. It's going to be fancy. All right. We have Poe Dameron here. His wings are closed, so this is going to be one less attack die coming in because uh, on those primary attacks, when the wings are closed, you got to roll one less. And it's going to be one hit, one evade. Okay. Could not squeeze damage on a Dutch. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Uh, he took it, and he missed. And you do miss some that you do take. And sometimes you miss the ones that you do take. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Kalen here. This is Kaz. He's got a target lock. No, this is Yeager with a mag pulse. Gets through a jam. Oh, yeah, sorry. Complete and a uh, damage. So it takes so it gets rid of the focus on Dutch. Uh, I mean, Dutch still has the... Uh, option to lock after Kraken shoots, uh, which will give a lock to another friend at range three, ignoring range restrictions. Uh, Poe did not take the ion off. Uh, he just kept the weapons disabled last mm -hmm. time when he, he just did decided that. not to shoot. Black one. Man, he is back there though. Oh. That the, that is the one thing you do not want is Poe back there just taking yep. that lock gonna, focus. Uh, hard to lock focus. That that that's yeah. what's coming up. You yeah. know that's that. the thing. If you if you can get your Poe to the point where he's not taking repositions, and he's taking it's lock tasty. focus, it's so tasty. Oh. It's 
crazy that he took R4, Astromech, and the Electronic Baffle. Just doubling down on it's making like, listen, sure. like, listen, I am not messing around. All right, I think this is on to Kraken to take a shot here. Uh, looks like he just took a focus, so not going to be able to fire that plasma torpedo. Um, but is going to give a friendly a plasma or a proton torpedo lock that they'll be able to use. Here we go. Uh, this is Aaron Kraken going into Kaz. Crit. Just roll natties, and Kaz is going to take a crit off the bat. That's a shield. Doesn't even need that plasma torpedo. The plasma torpedo did it, did it anyway. for him. And Kaz will be able to get that right back with R2-D2 in the end phase. All right, so uh, here we see Aaron Kraken give, after he performs an attack, gives Dutch a lock. Oh, my goodness. Which gives Wes Jansen a lock. And that's going to be two crits going through. Loose stabilizer for the first one. It was two two crits, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was two crits. Oh, I think they caught there it. There they caught it. Uh, loose stabilizer, uh, and it looks to be maybe a weapons disabled. We'll, we'll get confir confirmation on that. Uh, at least a couple of damage here. All right, and then we're probably going to see Kaz take a shot at the depleted yep, uh, Y-Wing. Dutch. Dutch. I think it is a weapons failure because this would be three dice. Instead, it's one. Yep. Reroll for M9G8. M9G8. One hit. Still only taking one damage on the Dutch. Normally, you want to you wanna try to be real aggressive against those Y-Wings, get them off early. All right, here's a Proton Torpedo into Kaz. It's only going to be three dice because of the deplete. One hit, spend the lock. Two. Make it two. It's a hit crit after the conversion for a Proton Torpedo. Two of eight. Two of got okay. out of it. Uh, we did see the West Jansen jam. with West Jamson. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we see uh, a... Uh, range two attack. We're gonna make sure it's a range two attack. It looks to be range two. This is gonna be obstructed Ooh, from the B wing. Didn't wow. get any focus results there. And but didn't get any results on the other side. We just dealt three damage to Jarek Yeager. He's down to two already, and no way to recover health. Yeah, doesn't have bucket. Doesn't have R two D two. Uh, doesn't have uh, a lot of things right now. <laughs> doesn't have a lot of health either. Yeah, <laughs> all the things. Here goes Zay Versio. One hit, two blanks on a shot to Dutch, and there's the squiggle. This <laughs> Y-Wing refuses to go down. <laughs> How many squiggles is this Y-Wing going to roll? <laughs> Listen, it's, it's, this is the way. This is the way. Um, all right, we do see... Uh, Next shot coming in. It looks like it was one result. No, it was nothing. Spending the target lock. Oh, this is a concussion missile. Going into Poe. Ooh, he did crit. All right. Looks like Poe's taking two shields. Two shields on Poe. Oh, my gosh. That uh, that lock, big conversion there. Yeah, Keo staying aggressive here. So I got the lock. I'm going to go ahead, take advantage, and do the three dice attack while I can. All right, looks like it's going to be one to two here. Four objectives, one for the resistance, two for the rebels. Uh, they managed to tie that middle one. And I'll go make sure that was a weapon disabled for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Weapons failure, but yeah. We've had some gr a great time this weekend bringing you the official coverage of the World Championships at Adepticon for Star Wars X-Wing. It's been a great time. Looking at this matchup, score currently one to two. And I feel like it is currently leaning a little bit towards the Rebellion, though there is still lots of X-Wing to play, lots of X-Wing. Here's my question to you in the chat. After seeing the engagement so far, 
Are you staying with your bet or are you changing it? I'm just curious. All I want is stay or change those two things. I know that there's no way for me to really see where you voted before, but I want to know, have you changed? If you could vote again, will you have changed your mind or would you keep it the same? You call out R2D2? Say that again? Did you call out R2D2? R2D2. Did end up getting repair there. Yeah, Archer Duty recovers that shield by spending two of its four charges on Kaz. All right, it looks like we have some people who feel like if they could vote again, James, in <laughs> Choose Your Champion, that they might uh, they might switch votes. They're starting to lean a little bit towards the rebellion. I mean, they're they're doing they're doing pretty good right now. And nonetheless, a, a list that nobody, well, there's not on anybody's radar, <laughs> doesn't, right? doesn't even know how to say that. Yeah. yeah I was like, uh, uh, words are hard. championship logo seems to be flying around makes a little more sense on that side I agree <laughs> sorry it's all right we got 600 people from around the world give us a shout out where are you watching from are you in the USA maybe you're in Europe maybe you're in South America somewhere else in North America that's not the USA would love to know where's everybody watching from on this Saturday afternoon in the Chicagoland area. What are some of those cool places we got there, James? What's that? What are some of those cool places we have people watching from? Uh, let's see. We have Montreal, South Africa. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Ging 4L, Colorado, Belgium, Ontario, Germany. A lot of Albertas in there, I see. Uh, Mike's Basement, very well, very well known area. Uh, nor Northern Germany, in Hamburg, Toronto, Scotland. The first time chat from Paul, the Tartan Tuscan. Very, very. Uh, that's, a, that's a very yeah, Scottish very name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, try again. All right, we have some Poland, but you're very excited to see a uh, po uh, Poland uh, local Bartosz doing um, absolutely incredible. Right, and right now, if if Worlds ended right now, he would be considered the best player in the world. Yeah, so can he hold it though? I'm just can saying, he hold it? I'm just saying, uh, if all the lights went out right now and we all had to go home, <laughs> maybe <he's> winner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, so very unfortunate that a win's a win, right? A, win, a dub's a dub. Uh, very unfortunate that uh, Ten wasn't able to get any focus results on that attack. Would have really loved to have any maneuver uh, besides the one bank to clear that stress. Uh, so because I think the one bank this way, the one bank that way. Yeah, and both, the one hard is red. The one hard is red. Uh, so not going to have a lot of options if you want to have actions. Um, yeah, the, the barrel roll in between the uh, in between the rocks definitely was risky. The barrel roll forward. If he rolled backwards, he might have been able to true, squeeze out. True. He was trying to improve somewhere. the shot, right? He was trying yeah. to see he if was he trying could. to get a lock and, and, and pop off that um, false transponder code, uh, which he did. So Now the question here is going to be, does he end up – like trying to skate through with something like a one one bank maybe even a two hard and just playing assault i think he'd be okay on a two hard as well T towards 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 the, the left uh, towards the left yeah i mean uh, we might also see a two hard or even to the right toward the right and then like yeah hey, poe coming like, hey poe you want to play <laughs> <laughs> want to play games we want to play games poe uh so yeah has has uh, good options either way there for that two hard 
but like I said, would have loved to have uh, the that too hard with an action. Mm -hmm. Would have been great. All right, we're going to see uh, Keo did spin that force earlier. So Keo is going to have the option to um, do that side, side slip, slip if they want to. They don't have to, which is really cool. I like I like the, the May. <laughs> right. I mean, because the ability isn't so overpowered where you, you have to control it as much, right? You, have, you don't have yeah. to lock it down as much. Like with the Roombas, the uh, HMP gunships, they have to do the side slip yeah, if they reveal no it. Yeah. So we are going to see that side slip, two bank side slip. Probably just going to reacquire lock. Regent's a force when he does that side slip. Super cool. Um, and going to re. Seems like a cool trick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, going to regen that force right there uh, at that side slip here. Uh, reacquires the lock and going to shoot a uh, uh, con another concussion missile at uh, Poe Dameron. All right, here comes wow. Kaz. Scooting? Is he gonna make? Oh, I think that, that landed. Bit. You see the little slot? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Slot? <laughs> Slots in. Uh, lands the maneuver. Is loose stabilizer weapons failure? Not really great. Um, but might be able to get some shots uh, if Poe doesn't go too far, um, or if he can end up maybe catching uh, Keo there at range I mean, two. He could slam. Ooh, come and on and slam. He could slam. Um, like a okay all right i called it i called it into into reality i have a three hard slam gonna take the damage on to the uh with the explosion the with wings well no it has to take the the loose stabilizer oh the loose stabilizer because slam is a maneuver yeah it is a maneuver so going to lose that shield for that, uh, but uh, I think that repairs the loose stabilizer, if I'm not mistaken. And pretty, um, yeah. yeah. It, once you take the damage, it does yeah. repair it. So ends up taking the talent roll to be able to see to uh, to flank West Jansen. The talent roll. I didn't expect the talent. Yeah, roll. with a full T roll, my man. Okay. All right, I. Th I think the ability, Kaz's ability is currently turned off for Dutch, but it's still yes. turned on for Wes and Kraken. Yeah, so, these fireballs have taken uh, a lot of damage early. I feel like in most matchups with a fireball, we don't normally see damage happening that soon. Yeah, normally they can come, they come in pretty uh, pretty strong and then teeter uh, like peter off later. Yeah. Uh, but not this time. Kalen is first player here, so we'll have to, uh, like I said, make those does not reveal. Uh, maybe you don't want to reveal another bad crit for yourself. Here. <laughs> uh, like no, I'll take uh, I'll take the consequences here. So um, two, weapons disabled this turn. Too hard from uh, the ten here. Um, in the same position. <laughs> Really needs to get rid of this stress because mm -hmm. uh, is going to be in the same position looking at the gas cloud now. All right, one bank here from Dutch. Going to be controlling the middle. Um, may get a lock on to BB-8. Um, that Chewbacca is charged up, so is a pretty strong uh, offensive ship here. But actually, looks like he gives a, a lock on to... Poe and give us that lock to 10 numb. Okay, so can you can you take us through the ability set that just made that happen? Let's, let's go step by step, because somebody might not understand how, how we got that just from Dutch having an action. Yeah, so Dutch, after you perform the lock action, you may choose one friendly ship at range one to three. That so not yourself. Uh, and no one no friendly is touching you. That ship may acquire a lock on the object you locked, ignoring range restrictions that's huge that's it's a really powerful ability yeah because normally uh ships that, like abilities that let you like gain a lock or yep. acquire a lock still require you to meet the normal lock restrictions of zero to three right exactly but, but yeah, uh, it's a super powerful ability to be able to set up some type of proton torpedo going into the fight um or just be able to have a fully modified attack when somebody enters the fight 
Absolutely, just crazy amounts of uh, goodness there. Uh, Dutch has been a, um, was I would say in the last season of play, po or uh, Dutch was a great um, piece for the, uh, for the Rebels, but more recently hasn't had a ton of play. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure why, uh, because he's still a great piece. Uh, but, you know, we will see. So Kalen moved Jarek Yeager forward. Uh, yeah, and it was a bump. Yep. Took did the, did, took did the end up choosing session. to take the bump focus. Yeah. Uh, and here goes Poe Dameron. <laughs> Where is he going? Hard two. Yeah, just hoping to deal, start doing some damage here. Uh, opens those wings. Uh, end is at range one of both of these, uh, the Z and the Y wing here. Uh, looks like for sure lined up the bullseye onto Kraken, but may have also lined up a bullseye onto Dutch. Looks like a lock focus is going to be the choice. All right. Here we go. Uh, all right. Looks, looks like, like we're going full four dice here. Fully modified. And you're going to yeah, need it. Gonna Three need blanks, it. one focus. Roll them again. A oh, little bit better. Right. Yeah. A little bit better, but you really wanted to get a full you string wanted, off of that. Four. One, uh, two hits and a crit. Blank focus, though, on the return. Elusive. Ooh. Blank to blank. Does end up spending a charge there. What's that charge? Oh, that's the elusive, elusive charge. Elusive, yeah. Uh, so can spin, but is going to just get crack shotted. Is he going to do it? <laughs> we saw the whole oh, 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 <laughs> But one more thing. <laughs> spends the crack shot and does end up taking a critical damage. Yeah. Not sure what it is. We'll go ahead and, uh, and find out what it is here very soon. Uh, yeah. Hopefully not a direct damage. It looks like a, a panicked pilot. Does he, did he put two stress out there? Uh, I haven't seen the two stress yet. Blinded pilot. Yes, there is that four symbol in the text. Yes, yes it is. All right, attack here from the Rebellion. Only a single hit and are going to go through into the resistance. No heroic in sight. Does have elusive on Zay. Uh, but takes the shield anyway. Yep. All right, one shield Zay. Uh, what is the action going to be for? Because I think that was the action. Because okay, so gives a stress mm -hmm. to West uh, to do a uh, that lock action. Uh, so locks, uh, locks Zay. Okay, just <laughs> man, it's just like it, it's like a, a battleship. Yep. That's slowly like, like all the, these three ships here are like slowly maneuvering through the lane here, <laughs> and whatever is in front of them, I'm just gonna attack it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so here we go. Oh, After modifying there, a full string, three hits and a crit, and oh my goodness, Zay getting crushed here. Gonna have a hit and a crit. What did we get? We got a council fire. Could potentially take some extra damage if you roll a dice and get a hit on a um, at, at the start of your engagement. Yeah, when you, when you engage, roll that damage. And Wes is gonna jam off that jam. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's the second time he's gotten that off. I I thought Wes was like like not bad, uh, but. Um, not that great, especially because it's like after the engagement. So, uh, but I stand corrected. Here we go. We got a roll here. Double crits coming in for the rebelling. Double blank out. Oh, Did, was that into Zay? That was BB. That was in the BB fuel leak. Fuel leak. BB. Was that the first one? That's the first damage into into BB. Whew. All right, and then we hear a proton torpedo uh, from Ten Num. I know this is a low-scoring game. I don't think that's going to be the case for long. Another four dice. For <laughs> there you go. B-Wings doing B-Wing things. That's three damage going through. And uh, Poe is going to be limping on two. Does end up suffering a blinded pilot as well. The resistance is on fire. Hope is fading. 
No hope is great. Because uh, rebellions are built <laughs> on hope. Rebellions are built on hope. <laughs> uh, resistance is built on uh, her heroism. On heroism. <laughs> uh, but there is none to be found in this game. All right. Zay bites back here. Two hits. And that'll be the end of He's going to take one damage there. Yep. Kraken goes down. Four to two. Now let's count up some assault points. Oh, yeah, oh, oh no, we got what? one more. BBA. How dare you? How dare you? BBA the, now. <laughs> two hits going into Dutch. Didn't get the squiggle. That's going to be two damage down the four hole there on Dutch Vander, a.k.a. Goal, goal leader. leader. All right. So uh, scenario points wise. Oh, hey, hold on. We still have Q to one shoot that One more. What? I thought BBA oh was the gosh. lowest one. We could lose Poe here. Trail mix. Target lock. Spend force. the focus or the force. And that's going to be two damage going through. We just lost the trigger happy flyboy. And we got the handshake, a concession. Oh, my goodness. With Poe Dameron going down, Jarek and Yeager on death's door, as well as BB-8 and Zay going down. Not enough guns in the fight for Kalen. A uh, handshake there. A well fought battle there but I mean, it's understandable why uh why Kaylin gave the handshake there they're really yeah. it was going to be tough uh, yeah thank you to iso danko baffle trojan prophet shadow tycho spice raider lancer fallen row six 626 chief and j list our grand admiral patrons and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members, thank you for your support. Gold Squadron, out.